Hey golfers, in this next video I'm going to be talking about hands in, club out, golf swing. Keep watching. Hi, it's Troy from HittingItSolid.com here. Thanks for watching. So we're talking about hands in, club out, golf swing. So what am I talking about when I talk about that? Well, from down the line, this is a powerful move that I see a lot of great players making. It's something I've been working really hard on my own golf swing with. And what it basically looks like, as we go to the top, as we come down in our downswing, as we go to impact, you'll see with really good players, as just after they hit the ball, their hands will disappear to the left, but their club head will stay down the line of the target, and they'll be in this position here. Now, for a driver, it's not quite that same extent because the driver head is moving at such a rapid speed, but definitely with the irons, with most good players, they'll be in that position. And the reason it's so powerful and something that I encourage you to practice, get good at, it stabilizes the club head, stops it rotating around where you get a lot of those miss hits left and right. This is something what that would look like. If you're someone that comes down, you look at yourself on camera from down the line, and you're like this, where your hands are pretty much in line with the club head down the target line, you'll get a lot of inconsistencies. Now, it is slightly different even for the best players. Not all of them will be quite, have the hands so far in, but some of them might be a little bit more like that. But you won't see any really good players that are like this at impact. So it's a really key move stabilizing that club head that can really help you hit a lot more consistent shots and avoid a lot of those two-way misses on the golf course. So let's look at some ways and how you can do this. Okay, so it's one thing to say we need to keep our hands in and our club out in the golf swing, but how do we actually do it? Because it's not just a matter of saying, okay, I know that, now I can do it. Some keys to making sure you can do this powerful move in the golf swing. First thing, I need you to really focus on having a really centered turn. So in other words, not swaying off the ball like that, and certainly not swaying, moving too much laterally on the way through either side really. What I need you to do is remain a lot more centered over the golf ball, making a turn like that. If you get too much lateral movement, it will make it extremely difficult to get into that position that I just spoke about. Now the other key you need to do, this is probably more important from down the line here, is you really need to rotate through on the downswing. So on the downswing, as we come through to impact, really important, particularly after you've struck the ball, that you keep rotating all the way through. If your rotation stalls or stops, you get through to here and you stop, the hands will take over and you'll end up flipping over it and have a lot of that too much club head movement that we don't want. So it's really important, impact, keep rotating all the way through to that full finish. And the final thing that you need to do, as we come down, need to keep that pelvis back. Really important you keep that back, giving yourself room to rotate, get those, those hands down nice and low, exiting left, club out down the target line, and through like that. If the pelvis moves forward on the downswing, like this, again, makes it near impossible to exit properly with the hands, and you'll end up with this sort of move here. Okay, so those are three really keys to help you get your hands to exit and your club to go down the, down the path of your target and play a lot more consistent golf. Now I've got an image here of Adam Scott that you can see on your screen here and you'll see how beautifully he stays in that position. He keeps his pelvis back and as he comes down you'll see those hands will exit to the left and his club head is out to the right. 
Now I think he's hitting about a, an eight or a seven iron in this image, but you'll see how he does it. And that's very similar to how a lot of other top professionals do it as well. Okay, to practice the hands in club out golf swing, it's really simple. You can start off doing this from home and then build your way up to hitting really short shots at the driving range. That's the best way I advise you to do it. So what I'd like to see you do, just grab a club loop, obviously in your backyard. You can start off doing really slow swings. I only want you to go, go sort of about a quarter of the way back there and just really get that feeling of rotating and shifting and getting those hands to go in and that club to go out. So from this angle down the line, little short ones, making sure you rotate, keep that pelvis back and really rotate and shift. So down towards the camera. Making sure you really accentuate that finishing position like that and that will help you out with your ball striking. Now the other great thing I want you to practice to really get that feeling of those hands in and the club out is the position of that right hand. I want you to feel as you're coming down that that palm of your right hand if you're a right hander is pointing down towards the golf ball or towards the ground like that in that position there and if you can do that that will help you get that forward shaft lean get those hands exiting left and the club face will go down the target line that's a great feel with that palm down that's a really great feel to have to practice to get this move down pat. Now, once you get to the driving range, do very short shots with this. Punch shots I recommend you doing, just hitting the ball, say 50 to 100 yards, get a feeling for this move, then you can build your way up to longer shots from there. So that's how you do it. Now, super important coming up is a video that you have to watch. It's on golf weight shift versus hip turn, which ties in really well with this video to help you make a fantastic golf swing. So make sure you watch it, it's coming up. Do you want to know how to make a better golf swing? Click and watch the video on your screen now. It's going to go into more detail about golf weight shift versus hip turn, which ties in really well with this video to help you make a great overall golf swing. If you want to know how to play even better golf, consider subscribing to the channel. And remember, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. I will get back to you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.